Hello, in this episode I'm talking about two wrap dresses. One has a classic wrap front and this one has some unusual design features I'd love to share with you. Yes, this episode is all about wrap dresses and it's all due to a challenge that I am running currently with Kristen from the Dahlia Society. We are hosting a challenge called So Wrapped. So through most of November, sewists on Instagram are invited to share their new wrapped garment, whatever that may be, wrapped top, dress, pants, skirt, vest, jacket, coat, robe. And one of the first entrants actually made a wrap pinafore. It was wrapped at the back, which I thought was really cool. So yes, all the details are in our Instagram feeds and we both did YouTube episodes about the challenge when it was launched, launched last weekend. So have a look at that for more details, but I'll, I'll just put this little 10 second clip in for you with all the essentials and you get a sense of the prizes that are on offer. So the first one I want to talk about, the first wrap dress in wrap and inverted commas is the paper cut patterns Meridian dress. So this dress is, has, they've had it um, for quite some time. I've actually got mine in their original packaging, which was that craft paper. They've since changed to the white paper, which makes it a little bit easier to trace actually but I do treasure my original paper cut patterns patterns so it's um so without that the wrap feature of this dress it's a simple um sheath really it has uh, a bodice attached to a skirt and it's sort of semi-fitted mine's a bit oversized which I don't mind for this style because I lengthened mine to make it a little bit more um, you know closer to a maxi or at least a long midi uh, so yes but other than that if it didn't have this feature it would just be quite a simple dress but it has this really interesting long, these long ties that are built into the wrap, uh, well, built, in, built into the bodice front um, pieces. So it's a bit hard to describe, so I'll just show you the pattern piece. Is that the right way? That's it. So if you can see, that is this bodice front. So if I, I can't see a thing without my glasses, but I'll see if I can show you. So that's how it goes. But there's this point here on either side where there's a notch. There you are, the notches are there. And they meet and the tie is sewn up and pulled through the right side. So that's how you end up with the ties. Now where those notches up to that point, that leaves you still with the bottom of the bodice which you attach to the, to the skirt. So you, you have to be quite accurate because it sort of has to all meet neatly in that center, uh, the center of the front there. So that's, that's it. Now I make, they're very long, but I made mine a bit longer because instead of just tying it at the back, I wanted to be able to bring them around and tie at the front because I don't really like a knot sitting in the middle of my back well, you know, when you're sitting down a lot. So, I mean, you might be able to wrap yours around without lengthening them, but I, I needed, I worked out that I'd need to lengthen them. So that's it. Now, um, the sleeves you have shorter or longer sleeve options 
I made mine for winter I made mine at the end of winter so I left them long and I'm glad because we're having a you know a cooler spring this year so it's great to get a bit more wear out of it I put elastic in the cuffs which I like it just sort of makes it easier to push up and for them to stay up while you're doing all those domestic things and um, I made mine longer I think I've mentioned that and when I ever when I make things longer like that especially because it's a straight skirt I left uh, I've got a, a slit which I'm guessing would be about 35 centimeters 30 to 35 centimeters I've left a split on one side um, the other interesting feature is where's my pattern piece oh, and here it is the center back so that's the facing for the cent uh, for the back neck and as you can see it goes right down to the waist it's a lovely closure so there's a zip that um, continues from the center of the skirt up until this point of the back and then this is left open which I kind of like it gives a bit of ventilation too and also makes it easier to do up yourself and um, and then it's the closure is just with whatever you want a hook and eye I I really don't like hook and eyes your hair just gets caught around them and they seem to come undone for me but um, I usually well I this is what I usually do it's a um, I close it with a snap so there's a, a snap closing that holding that together and I just sew on a button for show so I think I've got pink there and I've used a pink invisible zip uh, just sort of highlighting the pink that's in this fabric right the fabric is a beautiful um, Japanese linen it come it's a quite a bit narrower it's about 120 cent 120 centimeters wide uh, it has like a vintage finish so it's that washed beautiful sort of finish uh, that I love and the print is just really unique and I loved it it comes in another colorway so this is a lovely fresh green with red but it's a sort of a raspberry red um, and it has other pink little figures little women they are uh, the figures in on it and the other colorway is this more autumnal um, colorway which I love to you know I agonized over which one this has actually been a little bit more popular so the autumnal colorway so yes so that's that's my meridian and I really love it I think it's got great possibilities so it could be quite casual and, I, and I'll, I'll insert some photos of this one before I move on to the octarine and in the photos you'll see that I'm wearing a little heel a contrasting orange little heel actually that I wore with this as well just for some fun but today I've got it on with some sort of flat espadrilles um, which looks cute you could wear it with anything with sneakers with tan sandals um, yes it's that sort of dress and it's that sort of fabric but you could really elevate that dress too I think um, I mean it would be a great black dress um, you know that black dress in your cupboard because it's simple but it's just got that little bit of difference and yes I love it so that was the paper cut patterns Meridian I should mention that this wrap feature is also well it's it's something that paper cut patterns, patterns do in a, in a couple of patterns the other one is the Miri jumpsuit that has that wrap feature and I'll put it here and the wonderful Pauline Alice also uses this type of of wrap feature in the bodice of the Miele and Miele is very versatile it's a jumpsuit and it's it or you could do the dress version and I love it because it's got a v-neck and I've pulled out um, a Miele because I'm really tempted to do the dress version I know I should try a jumpsuit I keep on putting it off 
but anyway so hopefully that gives you a little bit of inspiration Next up is the I Am Patterns Octarine Wrap Dress and I have recently shown you my linen silk version in Impressions Lakeside and that fabric has just sold out but there are other colourways in it just to refresh your memory I'll just insert some photos. This, I loved this in the linen silk and it's been one of my favourite dresses. It's completely unique and you get that uniqueness from playing with border prints no other dress could be the same because it relies on you know pattern placement and what you want to highlight and uh, yeah just playing around with that print this version uh, i wanted to use this fabric um, and i wanted to explore the octarine in a in a linen rather than a linen silk. The linen silk is quite a lot lighter. So this is a, you know, quite a, a substantial sort of um, linen. I think it's 200 GSM and it's worked brilliantly. I love it. And in some ways it suits the pattern more. Now I am, don't suggest, I don't know if they even suggest linen, I'm a bit of a rebel. I try all sorts of things. Um, but why I think it works is the sleeve. Now, it's supposed to have a bit of gathering at the head of the sleeve. And I, I just think I eased in my sleeve so well, the, the previous one in the linen silk, that there's just, there's no, I don't think there's any gathering. I, I don't think I was even aware I wasn't thinking that that was a feature but going back to it it was it was just really nice to put that in because it's it, it's such a simple dress I think it gives it a little something extra and um, a couple of things firstly I'll made it maxi and I've got lots of pictures with me in it and some video so you can see the um, the length that I've made it and also the movement that you get with uh, at that length and what I love it's not overly full so I mean there's fullness there no doubt it's a line and I just continue when I lengthened it I sort of continued that slight a line out not much I took away like if it was continuing on a particular path I sort of brought back the path a little bit so it wasn't quite as full um, so yeah, so I think the fullness is really, it's perfect. Um, what else? I didn't do anything else. Oh, I added a little bit of length to the sleeve just as an experiment also. I ended up giving the sleeve probably a little bit more of a hem than is required. So, you know, adding that extra length was probably neither here nor there. I don't think I would bother next time. Uh, it did make it, I guess, a little bit even, well, even more dramatic. Um, and this is the feature. I mean, it is a simple wrap closure. And why I like it is it comes up quite high. Um, and that's just following normal bust measurements. So this pattern, I use the paper pattern. And that only comes up, goes up to a size... 46 probably 36 to 46 and I probably cut it out on the third on the 44 or 46 and um, just going by the bust measurement so what I'm saying is I didn't do a full bust adjustment or anything and I still get good coverage with it so that's good to know and it doesn't have any darts all it has um, and you won't be able to see it because of the, the print is so busy 
but all it has are two tucks um, at, at the waist position at the front. Um, if and it just gives it that just gives it a little bit of shape. And I was looking at it yesterday on without the tie belt. And if you put in some fisheye darts at the back, you could probably get away with not having a tie belt. So that's something to note. And that would give you a lovely, very lovely looking line. The, um, what else? I'll just take the belt off. I, I don't even use a pattern for the belt. You know what? Usually just, if you're like me, use the long strip that's left at the edge to create your belt and sew bits together. Uh, I did put in my own little label. So I made, I picked up a scrap from the scrap bin and made a little label that just says so wrapped. So I remember that I made it especially for this challenge. So I'll probably insert a picture here for you so you can see that. It's on um, my machine. I'll talk to you about my machine one day if you're interested. Let me know if you are. I don't know if that's a boring thing to do. Um, I've got a Janome Skyline in S9, which, yeah, I love it. I love it. And I need to use it more to its, um, you know, I need to use all its features. I need to do more embroidery. And, um, but anyway, it's got a couple of alphabets as a lot of your machines do, I'm sure. But it's just nice to use it um, rather than, you know, you know how you buy a big machine for all these bells and whistles and you don't necessarily use it? Well, I want to use them more. Right, so it closes with a snap. Uh, I think they suggest buttons or clips. I'm not sure, but anyway, I just use a snap. And I um, use ties. So instead of using another snap on the inside, I much prefer to use ties because it gives you um, just a bit more flexibility. So for me, it depends on, um, you know, what bra I'm wearing or how loose I want it or where I'm going, whether I want to be able to pull that under wrap more firmly or not. So I just, I really prefer ties on the, on the innards, <laughs> on the innards of wrap dresses. Um, I do actually like this clip clip fastening at the side and I do I do like the idea of not having ties attached to the actual dress that might be a bit controversial because one of my favorite wrap dresses is the Haley wrap dress that I've um, made recently those ties are attached and I think if I was to do it again, I don't think I would attach them because I like the, you know how you wash it and it gets all caught up and when it's in your wardrobe, the ties hang down. Whereas if it's not attached, I tend to roll up my ties and sort of put them in a drawer. Anyway, just something, something I've been thinking about. Um, the other feature worth talking about mentioning again is the sleeve. And I wanted to show you the sleeve pattern piece. All the rest of the pattern is traced in um, a, a um, interfacing sort of tracing paper, but except the sleeve. So it's very noisy, but I just wanted to hold it up to give you an idea. And it's going to adjust the white balance, probably me doing that. But just to give you an idea of the fullness of that sleeve, if I was to fold that in half again that gives you an idea but there's no fullness at the shoulder there's that there's that little bit of cute gathering but that's it and um, all the dramas down here I really love it I really love this sleeve and I love the length of it even without my lengthening it I love the length of it so that's it Oh, one more thing. There's always one more thing. The binding. I used satin binding. I sell satin binding and I just use that all the way around 
the neckline and down both sides of the skirt and I think I had two bits yes yeah, I had some black and some navy and I've just joined those together to use up some ends of rolls that I had um, yes it's a beautiful dress the fabric is well you you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it um, it's confident is what I call it it's a confident print it's got both well I say I said in my blog post on this that I've, is up now too that it's black and navy but do you know what I think I need to go in because I, I really do think it's real, just really dark navy and blue um, it really depends on the light I do need to change that and it's a lovely burnt orange but you could wear black with it you could wear as far as shoes go you know black or gold um, or orange like I have in my photos and um, video and um, yeah or sneakers you can wear sneakers with anything nowadays can't you same with this pattern as far as being versatile it's um I mean it's just a classic wrap and um, it would be so beautiful in anything like a just a lovely casual um, gingham check even would be really cute really fun um, lovely soft Japanese floral print would be beautiful as far as other bold prints I've got lots of bold linens in the shop at the moment um, some came in around the same time as this um, one sold out the unforgettable the one that I've made the um, Friday pattern company saguaro and Davenport hack the one with the black and the red flowers that's um, sold out but others um, there's a green one a green and white floral there's a fantastic red one with a um, safari print on it uh, there's a black one with white or ivory flowers that one's a little bit more substantial but still would be good for an octarine and then there are all the new linen prints that I have talked about recently so I think that's it now I think that's it hopefully that was a, a good overview of the iron patterns octarine it's a lovely lovely dress I hope you get involved with the so wrapped hashtag it's lots of fun I need to get moving because there are lots of entries I have to share in my stories and I'll be doing that this weekend um, yes and I'm about to do a post that sort of lists in more detail all the prizes so I hope you have a wonderful weekend and week I will be back very soon actually because I've got some brand new Atelier Shoot fabrics and I want to share my plans with my, uh, well the plans for my next wrap dress. <laughs> There's another one. So until next time, bye bye. Mm -hmm.